Devin. I vow to love you each day like there is no tomorrow. We've had our ups and our downs, but no matter what happens, we will get through it. The last four years of my life have been unforgettable with you. I vow to scratch your back almost every night because sometimes I'm just tired. I vow to try and love cats as much as you do because we all agree I know. <laughs> but overall, I vow to love you more than anyone ever will because you call my temper. You're the good to my bad. You are the princess to my country ways. You are the one who makes me smile every morning. But more than that, you are the one who truly understands me and everything I do. I have loved you for longer than you realize, and I will love you longer than life itself. Zach, who knew the boy I went to sophomore prom with would be my husband nine years later? I feel like everything in my life has led me to you. My choices, my heartbreaks, my regrets, literally everything. When we are together, my past seems worth it because if I had done one thing differently, I might not have met you. I promise to always help you cook dinner, even if it's just ramen noodles. I promise to always pick and choose my battles wisely. I promise to always choose you over everything. But most of all, I promise to always choose us. Through all the good times and all the bad times, I will always, always choose us. I love you. I love you. came to um, East Union, which is the high school that we went to. Freshman year in high school, just got my class schedule, walked out of the principal's office, walked down the hallway and heard Jennifer Welch, the first two to be nice to me. He walked in in an orange Hollister shirt, I remember it like it was yesterday, and he had like this little white necklace thing on, and his hair was highlighted and long, and Jenny and I, my Maid of Honor, I like, oh my god, who is that? He looks like he's from California because he looks like a surfer. All the way through high school. Yeah. Didn't really have a thing. We were friends, went to sophomore prom together. Mm -hmm. Two years after high school. I think it was Memorial Weekend. Came down at the campgrounds and all went from there. Did a, we had a trip planned to Mexico. We were all there. My parents and grandparents were there, and his parents surprised us, Todd and Stacy. And uh, we went down on the beach. Well, I thought we were just taking pictures. You didn't have any clue what was going on on the beach. The sunset. Got down on one knee. He wrote a little message in a bottle and buried it under the sand. And uh, I opened it, read the letter. I wrote her letter how much I loved her. Kind of a story of us, I guess. I put it in a bottle while she was reading it. That's when I got on one knee and she couldn't she was crying so she couldn't even talk. It still makes me cry even thinking about it. It's perfect. <laughs> 